These are my new go-to LED black lights for parties and events that I DJ, and they should be yours too, and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody, and welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today on the review table, I have the on 4 24 watt LED black light. This is actually a four pack. Look how compact that is. Four 24 watt LED black lights in here. These have some awesome output, a really wide angle, and I'm gonna tell you all the features and everything that comes in this box with these lights. We're gonna take them out, we're gonna test them, and I'm gonna tell you whether or not you should pick some up for yourself. Before we get started, if you're not a subscriber, hopefully I can earn your subscription by the end of this video. I do unboxings and review videos on this channel of tech products, audio, DJ gear, and more. So stick around to the end and we'll talk about that a little more. But let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about these on 4 24 watt black lights. In the past, black lights have either been really expensive if you wanted to go the LED route or they've been really cumbersome if you wanted to use fluorescent tubes, which is what I used back when my DJ business was really relatively new. I had to pay 20 or 30 bucks for a tube and they had to go in these big heavy ballasts and they were not practical. So I got LED black lights maybe six or seven years ago and they were amazing, but they were not cheap. I paid 100 or 120 bucks for each LED black light that was about a half meter long like these are. Now these come in a pack of four for under $100, which is mind blowing to me. LED technology has come so far and a black light is a pretty simple thing to produce. You don't need moving parts, you don't need effects and gobos and prisms, it's just a LED diode in a casing and you just want high output and a good dispersion. If you're looking for a UV light, you're probably trying to throw some sort of black light or neon party where you really want those colors to pop, your whites to pop at the party, and you don't want a lot of unnecessary purple or blue light that's not UV. That can kind of distract from the effect and that has been an issue in the past with LEDs. Luckily, LEDs are getting better. The wavelengths of the light is staying more in the UV end of the spectrum and not in the visible spectrum. And we'll do a test of these lights today where I will show you how they perform with some you know, white and neon colored objects in my room. But let's open this up and take a look. First thing I wanna note, you know, obviously the packaging, I start there with all my videos because it can say a lot about a company, just how they package their products and whether or not they care <laughs> about the presentation. And this looks really good. They've got nice full color glossy pictures on the front here. Uh, it's very well labeled. You've even got information on the side on on the LED diodes that are in the lights. On the back, you have all your specifications in a variety of languages, and the box is really hefty and well put together. So if we open this up, um, let me pop that cover open. Inside, you're going to have a mess of cables on top, <laughs> and then underneath all of those cables are the lights themselves. There are four lights in here. Uh, sitting on top of the cables, you have all of the mounting accessories, and we'll go over those in just a second. Uh, there's another bag with all of the screws and anchors. These can be installed permanently in the wall. Let's say if you own a roller rink, a bowling alley, uh, you know, fun center for kids, an arcade, something like that. You know, black lights is a great effect for kids. And so if you wanna permanently mount these, they include all of the hardware that you need to. Now, if you're a DJ like myself, you wanna be able to take these on the road with you, pack them up and then install them on your trussing or your T-bar. We also have the hardware for that. So that's really nice that they include both of those. You have a manual in here, an installation manual. This is mostly about how to hang the lights from the wall. The operation of these is pretty simple. We'll go over that in a second, but once I open this up, it just lists everything that comes in the box and uh, there's not much to that. So let's go ahead and pull out one of these lights from the box. All four are identical. There's no difference between them. Once I can get into the plastic here on this side, uh, this is what the light looks like. I'll put the box on the ground so we can take a closer look at it. You'll see you've got these individual compartments with all of the LED diodes. Inside each of the compartments is four diodes and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 times four diodes, 48 different LEDs in there. The total output of this light is 24 watts and that is pretty standard among you know lights of this distance. Let's talk about the build quality. When I got these from Onforo who graciously sent them over for review, I'm not being paid for the review, but they did send these to, to me to take a look at and produce this video. I expected lights at this price point, you know, four of them for under $100 to be pretty crappy as far as construction. And I am very, very surprised and wrong in that regard. The build 
is metal. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, all metal body here and the cable uh, feels very decent. I, I was expecting, those are the places that people usually cheap out on, the casing and the cable. Usually the cable just feels like it's gonna fall apart. And uh, it's got a pretty, pretty good thick cable there. You'll notice you have the power switch in line with it. So the switch is not on the body of the light. It is in line of the power cord. And you can either just leave that on and plug it in and out to turn it off, or you can use the switch to power on and power off the light. On the back, it's got these fins here. This is to keep it cool, I imagine. With this many LED diodes in one light, it gets pretty hot when it's running, but it's better than using you know, an incandescent light bulb or something like that. These are gonna be cool enough that you're not gonna have to worry about them burning anything down. You can leave them on for long periods of time. There's no duty cycles like there were with old lights. The power cord is not removable. While that is a downside, I expected that at this price point. Even my old ADJ LED blacklight bars did not have a removable power cord. It was just in there permanently. So if you have like a short or something like that, you're gonna have to hardwire a cable in or just requ request a replacement. But it seems, you know, this is like a screw right here, like a nut, and it seems very sturdily attached. And I'm not really worried about this um, crapping out on me. Plastic covering on the front is very clear. No scratches out of the box. The manufacturing is really well done. There's a little bit of glue on the edges but nothing that you wouldn't see unless you were like way up close to the light uh, only other thing on this light would be the mounting holes right here so you can see there's one on the end and then there's one on the back side right here and that's to attach the different hardware that come with the light so if I open this bag up it's got hardware for all four lights Let me pull those out okay so these are the brackets that I expect most of the people that watch this channel would use. These are the brackets that you can put on the end of the light. So like so, okay? And then you can attach a C-clamp or an O-clamp to these to put them on DJ trussing or hang them from some other sort of T-bar or something like that. There are eight of them, so two for each light, one on each end. You also have these brackets right here, and these would be to mount them permanently to the wall. They mount in the same location, and then you can use the included screws and anchors to put them into sheetrock or what have you. As far as operating this light, it's extremely simple. You just plug it in and then you have an on and off switch right here. There's no effects or chasing with the LEDs. Again, if you're buying these, you just want to have that glowing neon effect in your room so they're kind of set and forget. Turn them on, position them how you want, and away you go. So now I'm gonna overlay some clips of me using these in my house. What you're gonna see is that the dispersion angle is really wide, which was something that was important to me when I replaced my other lights with these. If you plug one of these in, it's going to cover a very wide area. I would say probably um, you're looking at 140, 150 degrees spread from side to side. So more than enough to bathe, you know, a whole stage area and, you know, in front of your DJ booth, uh, or you can put one in each corner of a room and it will definitely cover all areas of the walls and the floor and the ceiling. Now, one of the downsides to a light like this with such a wide beam angle is that it does not shoot as far. So I would say these probably can go 20, 25 feet as far as distance. Uh, and after that, the power really drops off. So if you wanna use these in a bigger room, just space a few of them throughout the room instead of placing them all at the front by the stage. They are cheap enough and light enough and compact enough that you can just kind of set these on stands around the room in the four corners and get that UV effect all the way dispersed around the room. These do produce a true black light effect. It's not just purple, it's not just blue. It really is going to bring out the neon and the whites in your room. And so uh, there is a little bit of spillover with the color, but definitely not more than any other LED product that I've paid way more money for. Now, this is what the lights look like with the feet attached. Now you'll notice that the bolt that goes in there is a hex screw. So one of the things that I don't like about that is if you are someone that is a mobile entertainer like myself and you want to take these and you maybe need to disassemble the feet or take them off between events or quickly adjust the angle, they're not going somewhere permanently, it's a little bit tougher to take a hex screw and you know find it screw it like that. If it just had like a wing nut, uh, which is what my old LED lights had, that might be a little bit faster. Again, it's not the end of the world. You can kind of tighten these down until they're like semi-tight and then just kind of manhandle them. They're not heavy, so even if these are not all the way tightened down, it's gonna stay. So you can see I can move this and then let go 
and it stays in that position. So it's not the end of the world, but wing nuts would have been nice, but I'm not gonna hold it against them at this price. So if you wanna pick some of these up for yourself, there is a link in the description and in the comments. You can buy through there and support the channel. I am super duper impressed with these. I'm going to keep these close to all my DJ gear to go out with me to events in the future, and I highly, highly recommend them. If you're not a subscriber, consider becoming one. I would love to have you as a fan of the channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.